look going on more further than the uh, the video i did with the booty building challenge look guys i have to be a lot more direct with you no one cares if you have low self-worth or self low self-confidence life is a competition um and no one's ever really going to tell you that because we live you got to realize we live in, in this feminized society that demonizes masculinity uh it demonizes men going out on their own like if, if you really think about it if you lack confidence and self-worth um and you don't have your life together if you haven't accomplished much um in your life compared to where you started um then it's, it's hard to say this um and this is i guess more so for men who are probably more having depressive feelings rather than depression depression is another kettle of fish don't confuse being sad and having depressive emotions and anxiousness and, and angst with depression like literal um clinical depression and literal clinical anxiety those they, they're two very different things if you're not successful if you don't have the the, the dating life or, or family life that you that you've always wanted if you don't have the the financial circumstances that you know and want if you if you're really stressed out in these other areas of your life or like purpose self-clarity self-worth if you if you haven't experienced much in life you haven't succeeded much in life then it would be weird if you didn't have these depressive feelings and sad feelings it's i want you to realize like you're stuck in this this comfort circle this this, this circle where you just the more depressive kind of feelings that you have for a longer period of time it's harder to get out of those ruts but the thing is like we kind of we stay in these ruts because it's very it allows us to have a predict a, a, a very solid prediction of what the next day is going to be like like if you took a risk if you took more courage if you took if you got out of your comfort circle and started actually going for what you want in life there's so much uncertainty ahead that the the, the male, like the, the brain, the ego of the brain, the self-identity goes, look, I'm already stressed and depressed. Um, if I took even more uncertainty, like it's just going to probably increase the odds of something. Um, it's going to reduce my probability of survival certainty for you getting outside of your comfort circle. But uh, look, you're a you're a homeless person right now who's trying to give financial advice you wouldn't do it would you you wouldn't take financial advice from someone who's homeless um you're an unmotivated low self-worth low self-confidence person following your own motivational self-discipline advice right now you have to literally behave and act like someone different fake it till you make it until we start getting some results wake up go to the gym work out hit me up message me jack i'm struggling that's what i'm here for ah i'm not i'm not some person like your, your family or your friends who you think you're gonna burden no this is why i'm here i've gone through this shit, guys i've come out the other end i'm here to help you get there you just look if you need someone to like literally give you a bit of a nudge in the right direction and just make sure just be a little bit of a guide going yes i know you're taking the wrong you're taking a slightly left um veering direction let's get you right back on track in terms of health and fitness and testosterone levels which is going to compound testosterone is the pursuit hormone it's the health hormone once we get you like in a domino effect in a positive way that shit spirals up and up and up you have this positive effect um, it's going to have a positive effect on your dating life, your finances, your purpose, your career, like your, the, the vision that you have for life. It's going to start to become a lot more realized, but it's going to take a couple of years of work. And it starts today, not tomorrow, because we have this, we have this human beings have this very weird function in their brain where if I'm going to start tomorrow. Next week, I'm going to start doing this. When we say these kind of things to ourselves, it's so easy to believe that that's what we're going to do because when we say it, the area in our brain that associates 
other people lights up when you make these promises for the future not the area of your brain that associates you so it's very easy to believe that someone else is going to take actions so when you finally get to the point where it's tomorrow or the day after or monday where you're you promise yourself in the past that you're going to take action you're the same person as you were yesterday and last week the actions you take today will determine where your life's baseline is at in two years time tomorrow is a result of today take action today hit me up if you need any help or else you know what's going to happen tomorrow tomorrow's just going to be another depressing kind of low self-worth low self-confidence day like we do you want to change do you want a different outcome in life do something different get to work